Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to episode 24 of our classic career survival series. Today we're going to continue working on our VTOL that we started last episode. I also got a few comments letting me know that I put some cylinders around the wrong way and whatnot and forgot to put some manifolds in. <laughs> but um, anyway, let's start with that. Alrighty guys, here we are in the workbench. We're going to start by going on both sides. We're going to move these exhaust pieces out one block on each side. Um, so what we'll do, we'll grab some pipes, some of these ones, and we're going to turn them that way and put them in like that. Very good. We'll give those a paint while we're here as well. We'll grab the paintbrush and we'll go orange and orange. Very good. Now let's grab those exhaust pieces back out and we're going to go black. We're going to turn them out that way. Yeah, something like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think I like that. <laughs> we'll leave it for now. Um, next up, we need to fix these pistons that everyone was telling me about. So let's break in, oh yeah, in here. Uh, I believe it's these ones around the wrong way. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, I can't really tell. Is it these ones? Yes, it is. They're around the wrong way. <laughs> so let's fill that back in. Uh, we're going to have to delete all of these. Boom, boom, boom. And these ones right here and there. Perfect. So let's grab these. Is there any more? Or is it just those ones? Hopefully, it's just these ones. And boom, boom, and boom. Very nice. Um, let me just double check, make sure they're all fine. Yep, that is all of those around the right way. That is very good. All right, let's um, also break into the top here. And we need to link them together with some manifolds. Let's go manifold. Um, now, I don't think we need many of these, actually. I think it just needs to be one per kind of bank of cylinders. So if we just go one there, one there, and then we'll put a couple on the bottom as well. So we'll put one under here. Boom, and boom. Very good. Um, I think that's all fine. Yep, all right, let's fill all that back in. Boop. And we have the top as well. Boop. And we need some of the wedges. Ding. And we go like that. Um, last episode, I also didn't show you guys. I put a little um, front part on here around the gearbox. So that looks a bit more connected. <laughs> it looked a bit funny before, but um, that's all right. Um, what we might do as well, we might grab some red out. And where those propellers are, we might put a line around the VTOL like this. Like kind of that's the danger zone sort of thing. Oopsie. We need to go. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> we need to go gray there. And we'll put red ring around the front of it like that. Just so we know that's where the propellers sort of stop. That's like kind of the safe zone sort of thing. Yeah. All right, next up, we need to put a door on and we need a hatch at the top so we can get out when we're landed in the water as well. So that's a thing. Um, we also have another problem. We need to be able to be stable in the water too. Um, I might have some sort of floats that flop down or hang down from the top. It's kind of similar to last season, uh, but we'll work on that after. So let's um work out where we're going to put these doors and the floor. So we need at least... Seven high inside. So how much have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's plenty of height in here. That should be fine. Um, now, this is going to be a bit strange here, isn't it? So if we come up there and then we'll link that together. Okay, something like this. Maybe we can put some wedges in the corners here. Just so we have a little bit more visibility like that. That should be just fine, I think. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Um, so the floor level is going to be this high. I don't know how much fuel we're going to fit in the wings either. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do our best with that. But otherwise, we might have to use some of the space in the bottom here. Not too sure. We'll see how we go. Boom. Um, I don't know if we'll fill that in. That just might be a... Oh, what should we put the back there? What if we just fill it in for now? We'll go like that. Perfect. That's looking pretty cool. I don't think we're going to have a door on each side either. So maybe we'll fill this side back in like that. And we'll paint this back up. And then what we might do, we might actually open this up a little bit more. And we'll get a door out. Um, just one of these, I suppose, with a lock on it. That should be just fine. We'll just go white for the moment. We'll just go right there. Perfect. Hey, definitely don't need that. <laughs> we need some blocks. And we'll fill that area in. And we'll give this all the fresh paint again. Boop. And orange. And that is going to have to be grey, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> um, so there's the door to come in. Now, do we want to section this off a little bit more or not? Maybe we could just go like that. That'll be fine. Then we've got some funny business going on up here with all these blocks, but that's all right. We'll, we'll sort that out. Um, next up, I'd like to put um, some sort of little floaty things on the side here that house our landing gear. I think that's the next important thing we need to do. So let's try and work out what we can do with that. So we'll start with some wedges, maybe. We could come around the side like this. Maybe to kind of make it come up on a bit of an angle. Maybe we should come back a little bit like here. And then we might grab one of these, a two by four. We'll put that right here. That can come up like so, maybe. I don't really know. <laughs> um, hmm. It's going to be a bit strange, actually, isn't it? We'll get rid of all of this because none of this needs to be here, I don't think. So if we can make as much room as possible, we'll get rid of all that and all of that. And we'll fix it all up after. If we get some more wedges out. Do I want it to come up any higher? That should be right, actually. Um, we'll turn that around like this. We'll go along the top. Get rid of some of these. Yeah, let's work on the front part. Then we'll work on the back bit after. Um, so we're going to need some of these inverse pyramids. We'll put right there and that will come out like that. Perfect. Very good. Let's try and keep it all white for the moment. 
Something like that, it widens out a little bit here, a bit of a bump. Should I make it stick out two blocks? Yeah, we might try and come out two blocks, I think. Um, so if we grab one of these, we'll put another one right there. And then we grab a wedge and turn that around like so. And then we'll put one more of these right there. That should be fine. Hopefully that's going to look all right. <laughs> it is just needs to have enough room to store the wheels. That's all. Um, so they're not really going to be floaties, actually. <laughs> kind of just um, store the wheels. But anyway, that's fine. Um, now, I don't know what we're going to do with all this bit here. It needs to start coming in as well. Maybe it can start coming in right here. It can just kind of end off. Hmm. Not too sure. We'll see how we go. Um, we'll leave that there for now, actually. What if we get some more wedges? And that can come back up like so. Or, you know what? What if we put one of these there? Turn that around like... No, that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> if we put that upside down there, and we can bring some more blocks across like this, and we put one of these right here, bring that up, and that's somehow going to meet at the back. It looks a bit wide, doesn't it? I think it needs to come in first. Um, uh, hmm... Because that's not going to match up with there. So what if we put one of these here? Turn that around. Oh, actually, we need room for the wheel. That's got to be blocked along there, I think. Or at least to there. And maybe we can put one of these in. Or if that'll kind of work. <laughs> uh, if the wheels sit kind of right here. And they can start coming back in, maybe. If we put some more wedges in this area. Uh, let's see how that looks. Alrighty, guys. This is what I've come up with. Um, we've got the little spot here where the wheels will go sitting right there. And they'll pop out when we come in for a landing or they'll go back up if we're doing a water landing. Um, it's a little bit sharp looking, but I think it'll be all right once it's painted and whatnot. So let's do that right now real quick. Um, we'll continue the orange line going all the way through it like so. Yes. And on this level as well, all the way to the back. Um, so that's going to go to here, doesn't it? Yes. Um, I also had to extend this whole back bit out one block right here to kind of make up that spot. Otherwise, it was going to look funny. But um, yeah, <laughs> that's where we're at. Um, so let's finish painting this, all of this, boom, boom, boom. And all of this top bit here as well. Ah, uh, and that bit there. <laughs> uh, all that, this, this, and that. Perfect. It's looking pretty good. Uh, a bit more orange to go up there. All right. I think that looks pretty cool. Um... We'll put the wheels in a little bit after. I don't want to do that right now. I'd rather start doing the interior. I'd like to start by putting some windows in. So let's go right here. One there. And we'll put one here. Oh, we have to go here. That, that's, a, that's a wedge, right? Okay, we'll go there and there. That should be just fine. Can we put any in the back here? I think we can. Yes, beautiful. So let's get some. Do we have portholes unlocked? Yes, we do. Awesome. Um, let's grab some of the... Oh, not the big ones, the small ones. We'll go boom, boom, and boom. That's pretty cool. Very nice. Um, they're not even spacing, obviously, but it should be fine. <laughs> Hopefully. Whoa. Uh, bang, bang, and bang. Very good. All right. So we need to fill in the inside of here as well, don't we? Um, so let's go along like that. Should be fine. Okay. Um, we also have this bit here at the back. <laughs> so let's do something about that. What if we get rid of these? And this is going to have to come up or something, is it? Um, put some little wedges on it like that, maybe. It's going to stick out past the fins there. Uh, I don't know if I like that. What if we change that and get rid of these? And we'll put some of these wedges here. We'll go along like so. And then maybe we could come along again, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> or what if we get rid of all of this and we'll get some little wedges. We'll put those in this area. And then we'll have some of these ones sticking up like that. That might be a little bit better. And then we'll come up like this. And maybe we can have some wedges coming along here like that. Oh, that looks atrocious, doesn't it? <laughs> um, I don't think I like that. It looks a bit squarish. Uh, let me see what I can come up with real quick. All right, guys, this is what I've come up with. We just have curves all the way down to about here, and we have a filling port and a charging port. So, yeah, that kind of feels in that little odd spot, which is pretty good. Um, let's go back to the interior anyway. Um, we might start with the dash, actually. We might start in the front here. Um... We also need to put a, have room for a landing gear too. I don't know how we're going to fit all this in. <laughs> um, maybe we could section this area off. Maybe some blocks coming up like that. And then we can have this room here for the front landing gear. I think that's what we're going to have to do. So if we come up like that, we can maybe go across like that and across like that. And we can have the dash right in the front here. That should be fine. As long as we leave room for the wheel. That's all I'm worried about. Um, do we have tracks as well? Yes, we do. Maybe we can put the landing gear in now. So if we have a little pivot in like that, and then how are we going to make all this be hidden? <laughs> Alrighty, guys, if you can sort of see what I've done here, we have a pivot on each side connected to a pivot here. So you can kind of see they're all connected. And then the pivot down here will turn the front wheel, and then that will fold away. I made a little area there, so you can sort of see for the wedges. Um, and that should allow the wheel to retract back up inside, hopefully. These might be in the way, but I guess we'll find out. Um, and that will all still be sealed, which is really good. I think even... 
yeah, it's just under all that. It should be fine. Um, we'll, we'll put the dash in in a second, but hopefully this all works pretty well. Um, while we're doing the landing gear, we may as well come and do the rears as well. So we'll have a little spot here for them. So these ones at the back might pivot towards the inside. I think that might be how we do these ones. So we'll get some pivots out. Um, so these ones here. And if we put some one like that there, and then we can have another one like that. I think they're the opposite way around though. We need to change this like that, turn that around. Yep, perfect. And then we'll connect those both together and we'll merge that together like that and do the same on this side. Perfect. Um, now we'll get these wheels out again. So where is it? This one right here. Very good. And that will go right on there. Uh, except these are in the way. So maybe we can just get rid of them. Yeah, that should be fine. That doesn't look too bad at all. Especially once we, once we give it all a bit of a paint anyway. And then they'll fold up here into the floor. So if we put some little wedges on maybe even all the way up to here. Uh, we get some four wedges. Some wedges like this. Turn these around like that, and we'll just go along like so. That gives them a little bit more room to fold up inside. That should be right. But anyway, we'll seal that off like this. And if we have any problems with it later on, we can always come back and fix it. Uh, so we'll go like that, seal that off there, seal that off, and around the back as well. Boop. Okay, they are both completely sealed off, and the front should be as well. Um, let me give this all a quick paint. I'll be back in a moment. Alrighty guys, that is all done. The wheels are painted, inside the wheel wells are painted, everything is painted, hopefully. <laughs> uh, except for this wheel, actually, I lie. Uh, boop, there we go, everything's good now. Um, so, let's start with the cockpit here. We need to get a dash going. Um, so let's get some dials and whatnot out. We don't, oh, we don't have much unlocked at all. Ooh, maybe we might go and unlock some bits and pieces. What if we quickly save what we've done and we will go and have a snooze. We'll do some research. Um, we need display pieces. All right, so we need to start with displays here. We need to get that out of the way. Then we get advanced displays, and then we get video equipment. Um, we will not have enough for video equipment at the moment, unfortunately. That is going to be a bit of a problem, so we really need a monitor. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, we're going to have to do without one for a while. Well, that's not very good. Okay. Um, oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, we'll start with this, so then we can unlock the instrument panels at least. Because we're probably definitely going to need that. <laughs> so let's um, go back to displays. We'll research this. Very good, and we'll go and have a snooze, and I'll see you in a second. Alrighty, guys, that is all done, so we'll jump back in the workbench here. There is our VTOL, oh, very good. Um, so, well, why don't I just grab some wheels? <laughs> Alright, let's get back in here. Now, let's get our dials. Oh, display. Display, yes, very good. Alright, we have a bit of everything now. Artificial horizon, we'll have one of these on each side. Uh, we'll turn that around like so now. Alright, so how do we want this dash to actually look? What if we have some wedges going up to it like that? Have those right there, and then we'll put some more display pieces on the side. It's a bit of a pity we can't have um, any maps in here or anything at the moment. But um, anyway, <laughs> that's how it is. Uh, we'll put some wedges in like that, make it come around. I think that looks all right. Um, ideally, we'd be having a map right there. But anyway, we might just put a speed dial in like that, and then an altitude dial in right there. And then we can put some more of these dials right here. Should be just fine. So boom, boom. Right, that is plenty to begin with anyway. Um, that looks pretty good. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with the front part of here. We have a little bit of a hole, don't we? Can I get rid of that? Uh, let's just fill this in real quick. Like, boop. Very good. Let's put this all back. Just like that. That, that looks pretty cool. A bit basic, but that's all we got at the moment, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, now, let's have this one as our speed. Very good. And this one is our altitude. Awesome. So let's get these out right now. So we have altimeter. Let's um, chuck it on the bottom, actually. I think we're going to have our firefighting thing right there. So what if we mm, put it just here? That should be just fine. Uh, we'll turn that, make it face down ways. Boop. Perfect. And then we need our speed. Um, this one here. We'll put that on the top just so it's out of the way. Just plop it up right here. Very good. Uh, we'll paint both of these as well. Boop. And that one's red for that red line there. Perfect. Um, so we need a function block. Let's grab one of these so we can convert it to kilometers an hour. Um, now, what are we going to do with this? Should we have some sort of hatch in the back that we can open so we can get to all the controls? Or should we be able to just walk in? Maybe we'll just have it so we can walk in. Uh, what if we just put them all along the ground here? That should be all right. Um, so this is X times 3.6 as usual. Boom. And we'll connect this one up to the speed sensor. Uh, no, the, the display, sorry. The, that one there, was that this? No, it was this one. What am I doing? Um, that one goes to there. And this goes to up there. Very good. Now, we can get rid of that one. That does not need to be there. <laughs> uh, boop. So, perfect. That's all good. And our altimeter goes to the one underneath. Very good. So, over here, we could just have our battery. And 
I'm not sure what we'll put under there. So we're gonna have, well, let's do this one first. Um, we'll have engine on, and that will be a button on a toggle switch. Very good. And we can have our hmm, lights and whatnot over here. Maybe we can have RPS and temperature down the bottom. So what if we have, this one is RPS, and this one can be temperature. Very good. Uh, make that zero, and temperature can be maximum of 100 before it maxes out. <laughs> and the revs can go up to 30, maybe start at zero. And that is on number three, and that is on number four. Perfect. So what are we going to have number two? Well, number two can just be our interior lights, I suppose. Um, yeah, may as well. I just took a screenshot again by accident. <laughs> I did that last time as well. Um, that can just be a, maybe it's still a flip switch. Should be pretty cool. All right, very good. Um, I might make a controller for this real quick. I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, here is the controller I made right here. So we're going to stick that in the back with the other one that we've got. We'll just put it right there. Very good. All right, so we have our temperature and we do not have temperature sensors on these engines. So what if we quickly do that? Uh, we might as well do it all as we go, and let's just break in here, I suppose. <laughs> um, oh, right, that's got to go on the actual cylinder, doesn't it? So we've got a spare spot for that. Yes, we do right there. All right, perfect. So let's jump in here real quick. We'll just chuck it on the bottom like... Oh, can I, can I get it? We'll do it on both sides as well. Uh, can I get in there? I don't think I can. I, I can reach it from there. Perfect, that's on. Awesome, so let's put this piece back in as well. Boop. All right, now it's just going to read it off one side. I don't think we need to do it off both because they should be the same. Hopefully. <laughs> um, so that will be temp and this is RPS. Can we just read those off the cylinders? Yes, we can. Off the crankshaft. Perfect. Very good. All right, now we have to start. That will go to the modular engine controllers. And then we have interior lights. That will go to the lights, obviously. So we won't worry about that just yet because we haven't done the interior. Um, we'll connect that up to there and this one to go to there. Very good. And when you turn the VTOL on, we're going to have um, the start button is going to illuminate all the backlights as well. I think that's important. So we go backlights for everything that is possible. Backlights, backlights. Perfect. Um, now, what I might do for the control of the rotation, I'm not sure if we should have it on a lever or a button. I think I might put it on a lever. So we're going to have to have two levers in here. <laughs> one for the throttle and one for the uh, rotation. Actually, no, what we'll do, we'll just have one for the throttle only, I think. Um, I don't really have room to put two in here, to be honest. <laughs> um, so let's just go with that. We'll just put one of these here, block that off, and we'll just leave it like that, maybe. Or we should put little, maybe some of these on. We'll just go on both sides. We'll just go like that. Yeah, that, that's probably fine. <laughs> um, so that means we're going to need a toggle button then to rotate. So we should probably put one of these. Oh, we could put it over here. That's probably fine out of the way. So we might need this spot for one more thing. Um... So this will be rotate, and this will be the throttle just like so. Actually, guys, I think we can put two throttles in there. I think that looks all right, actually. It doesn't really take up too much room. Um, we can still get in and out, so I think we're going to leave it like that. It's kind of best for what we the room we've got at the moment, I think. <laughs> um, so let's have the throttle on this one then. So we'll go throttle, and this one might be the rotate. Yeah, like, just like that. I think that's probably best, so we'll leave it like that for a minute. Um... So the rotate can go up here and connect to both of this one and that one there. So now we need to work out which way we want it to rotate. All right, so we want it just on the max value of one and start value is zero. And we want it to go fairly slow. So we'll put it down to 20%. That should be fine, hopefully. Um, yes, that's for that one there. Now we need the modular engine controls themselves. Um, so we'll just use the same one we always use, I suppose. Um, we're going to need two, obviously. So I wonder if we can put them in here on each side. That'd be a bit better. So they're not spread out everywhere. I think that'd be all right. So if we turn these around like that, yes, that will fit perfectly. Very good. Uh, we'll paint them gray as well. Boop. All right, so the start button from there will come all the way over to these controllers, turn those on, and the radiators as well. So boom and boom. Perfect. Very good. All right, now what is next? We have the fuel manifold that will go to this one here, and we have the air, which will go right there. We have electric mode, ignition. We haven't put um, starter motors on this just yet. I haven't forgotten about that. Um, let me quickly connect up the same bits on the other side. Um, so we've got air will go to this one and fuel will go to that one. And that is all for over here, is it? The RPS will go on there as well. Uh, I think that's all good. We have the composite will go on there. And the throttle will go straight down to our throttle down here. Perfect. Let's do the same on this side as well. That will come up to this one right there. RPS will go to there and our composite um composite cylinder perfect all right now let's break in and put some starter motors on do we have any room for starter motors yes we do we have one two three spots for starter motors that is plenty very good um so modular engine starter let's go right up in here see what we're doing turn that around boop 
And we have one here, boop, and boop. Perfect, so that's the same on each side. So let's fill that all back in. Um, we'll get some of these, we'll go along like that. Very nice. Um, so let's connect these up. So this will go to the starter. So boom, boom, and boop. Very good, what's that there? Oh, the gearbox. Heh, <laughs> we better do that as well at some point. Um, now we have this one, go to boom, boom, and boom. Very good. Okay, we're getting closer to turning this thing on. Well, actually, we still got a lot to do, but we're getting there. Uh, we also need a gyro. Let's put one of these in too while we're at it. Um, we'll just put it in the back right here. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um, we also are going to need some sort of VTOL controller. So let me see what I've got to use. Alrighty, guys, I have this one here from Professor Incognito. I think I might use that. Um, I trust his stuff, <laughs> so it should be right. Uh, we'll chuck one of these. We'll just put it on top of... There, that should be fine. Um, now, he has a button in here so we can switch it to VTOL mode. So that means we can actually get rid of that throttle. Um, so I'll do that right now. Whereabouts is it? Is it um, this one here? Rotate. Get rid of that. And we'll put the throttle back over in the middle. All right, yeah, that looks a little bit better. Then we have our rotate right here. So perfect. We'll drag that all the way up to our controller here. And we'll plug it in like that. Very good. Um, now, this has got to go straight to the pivot. So that will do the rotating for us. So that is one right there. And we have the one on the other side as well. Very good. Boom, boom. And we're going to uh, slow these down as well. So speed can be 0.1. So I don't want it to go too fast. Um, so we'll go like that. That'll be fine. We'll, we'll test it out anyway at some point. All right. So I believe all the inputs for this come straight from the gyro. So let's go. Your is left and right. Very good. Up and down is uh, this one here. And over here we have our roll. So that is A and D. And then we have our pitch, which is W and S. Very good. Oh, it's a bit complicated looking, isn't it? <laughs> uh, that's fine. Um, now we have roll right. So let me hook up all of these real quick. So we have roll on there. And then we have, what's this one here? Pitch on the right. Let's go find that one. Pitch and collective for the right hand side as well is this one here. Perfect. Then we have roll left. So that will go to there. And where's the next one? We have pitch left. That will go onto there. And then we have our collective on the left as well. So that will go right there. Beautiful. Very nice. All right, that is all connected up. Now we need to get our controls from our seat itself. Otherwise, we won't have any luck going anywhere. Um, so what do we got here? We have our W and S. That is our pitch. That will go to this one here. Then we have our roll, which needs to go straight to the A and the D. So we've got uh, this one there. Perfect. We have, our, we have our left and right. That will go to our yaw. Um, this one here. And we have our up and down, which will be our up and down. Very nice. Perfect. Um, now, the gyro auto hover, that should probably always be on, I believe. So what if we connect that directly to our start button? I think that might be best. Um, so that will go straight down to there. So that will turn the gyro on automatically when we turn the VTOL on. Very cool. Um, now, we need to put some outputs on this, don't we? So we're going to need our yaw to go straight up to there and there. We're going to need our pitch. Where is that? Uh, pitch. Hello. There we go. That will go to... That one and that one and then we have our roll which is in here and that will go over to here and this one i think we need a flip let's have a look yeah this one here needs to be flipped so let's grab that and we'll flip it over like so very good and we'll paste that back in there and merge it back together very good so let's connect that one up as well all right very good that is all connected up awesome um next we should probably put a battery in this thing <laughs> uh we've only got small ones so we might put a couple in actually uh, but I don't know whereabouts we're going to put them. Should we put some more weight at the front? It's probably not a bad idea. Where is the weight right now? Yeah, it's towards the back a little bit. We can always put some more counterweights in the front. But let's see if we can put a little um, couple of batteries in here. So if we just put maybe two in should be enough. Just go boom, boom. That should be fine. Um, we'll connect these up um, to our battery gauge, which is this one right there. Perfect. Very good. And what was this one? We have nothing, no use for this one yet. All right, well, we might make this one fuel then if it's not doing anything. So we go zero, and that can read a maximum of a 1,000 at a time. That is very good. Um, speaking of fuel, let's try and get some fuel tanks sorted. All right, guys, so I've got a slight problem. I don't think we're going to have the fuel in the wings. For two reasons, there is absolutely no room. <laughs> and second of all, we probably don't want the weight right up the top anyway if we're going to be landing in water. It's probably not a very good idea. So I still need room for um, water in the bottom for firefighting purposes, but... Maybe we could split up the bottom into two different tanks, something like one at the front, one at the back or something, or one on the middle, one on the outside. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, I don't think we're going to put the fuel at the top, so I might fill all this back in, uh, put it all back to how I just found it all, like that, and we'll just run some pipes down, and we'll have to work out something down the bottom here. Um, so if we open up a little bit of room in here, make as much room as we can, something like that. 
Yeah, get rid of this as well. We need to divide this into two tanks somehow. So maybe we could try and use this whole area for fuel. And then we have still have a fair bit of room in the back here. We could probably make um, for some water tanks, I'm thinking. I'm not too sure. Maybe we could put a bit of water up in the wings. I'm not I'm not too sure, but fuel is kind of a priority at the moment. So let's start with that. Um, I'm going to need to make a little bit more room here if we get rid of all of this as well. Perfect. Um, so let's get a spawner out. We'll just grab one of these. We'll put it right um, there. Very good. And we need a meter as well so we can see how much we've actually got inside, which is perfect. Just like that. Very good. Um, we're going to fill the bottom in with wedges too, so we can kind of have maximum amount of fuel in there. Um, the next thing we need to do is get some pipes running up to the top to actually get the fuel into the engines. <laughs> um, so let's break all of this, we'll run pipes up through here, that one, and then they can just go, or maybe on one more up like that, and they can run along the top of the wings all the way down to here. We'll open up this area, boom, boom, and we get right in here, and that is where it's going to go on to. Perfect. So let's get some pipes out and we'll hook up all of this. So we'll get this one, go all the way along to there. Perfect. And then we need a angle. Make that face downwards. Boop. Perfect. And we need some more straight pieces. Go all the way down. So if we go like that all the way up into there. Perfect. And I didn't do that on both sides. <laughs> all right, give me one sec. All right, that is all done. Runs along the top of both wings and down the side into here. So we're going to put some ports on the bottom right there. Ports, and we'll grab that, and we'll just put it right there. Perfect. Um, That is pretty cool. Now, let me fill all this in with some wedges. So how are we going to do this? If we get these, we'll go along like that. Very good. And we're not going to fit more there, are we? <laughs> uh, maybe put some bigger ones, run them along that way. And we need some little baby ones to put in there. And we have to put some other smaller ones through there as well. And we have to stop the fuel tank eventually, so I'll stop it right here, and then we'll put some more wedges in like that. So that is a fairly big fuel tank. That's actually looking pretty good. Good size anyway. Hopefully it holds enough to get us fairly far. All right, guys, so two more things we're going to do today. We're going to put a hatch on here and some floats underneath the wing, and then we're going to spawn it and see if it actually floats. <laughs> um, so let's go like this. What if we go on both sides? We'll end the back of the VTOL off inside here. And on the top here, we can have a way out, and then we need a way to get into the controller room. So if we, oh, it's a piece there. If we put an upside down hatch here, hatch will get a lockable one. Uh, that'll be fine. We should turn that up this way like that. Perfect. We'll put that right there. Very good. And we need some ladders to get out of this place, um, <laughs> out of this VTOL. So if we have some ladders that climb up the back like this, boop, all the way up to the top. Perfect. So we'll get rid of every second one as well. Don't need those, and we'll fill that in. And we're going to need another hatch and put it right up here. Perfect. That's looking pretty good. And we'll fill that in. Oh, don't need those. Fill that in like that. And we'll paint the top of this as well. Perfect. Uh, we don't need the bottom of that side painted, do we? If we go like white. Okay, that, that's fine. That should work, actually. Um, now we need to put some sort of floats coming off the wings. They're going to kind of swing down, kind of very similar to Season 1's VTOL. Um, so we're going to need some pivots, first of all. Grab some of these ones here. Um, now we've got some pipes going on here. What are these? All right, so these pipes don't actually do anything. So we can get rid of these, that one, and... Oh, yeah, up into there. Perfect. Uh, we'll get these gray blocks back out. Uh, we'll fill in all of this. Perfect. And along like that. Perfect. All right, now we'll get these compact pivots back out. Now, we need them to kind of swing out and down about here if we can. That'd be really good. So if we open up a bit of the wing for a moment, we'll get some of these out. Put them like that. And we might put another one just here for a bit of added strength as well. I think that's probably a good idea. Um, you know what we might do? We might get rid of those and we might make them gray. I think that's a better idea. Um, so we'll try that again. Turn these around like that. And we need another one like so. Opposite though. And like that. Perfect. That's really good. And we'll connect those both together. So we go boom, boom. And we'll do the same on this side over here like that. Very good. All right. Now we're going to need some wedges. So if we go like that, we'll put that there. Turn that around like that. Perfect, so that will make it stick out a little bit more. Now, how far down do we want this to come? Let's get a quick calculation. About eight blocks, so two, four, six, eight. Perfect. Um, let's get some floats on the end of that. So we have to make a little bit of room just here and have to destroy a bit of the wing, unfortunately. What if we get rid of... Yeah, actually, we'll leave it like that. That'll be fine. Um, that does not fit there. Why not? All right, guys, so something like that, it kind of angles back a little bit and it sits behind the wing a little bit and sticks out the back. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, they're well out of the way of the propellers, which is excellent. Um, now, we can't fill this bit in here, so we'll just um, paint that grey, I suppose. Not much else we can do with it. Uh, we can fill in the sides of there, which is good, and along there, which is really good. Um, and we can actually go under here 
And we got under there as well. Um, the only problem we have is this area. So let's fill in what we can. I think we can go like that. That should be fine. It doesn't really matter. What we might do though, just as a little bit extra, we are going to have to paint inside of here as well. So let's do all that. Yep, okay, that's pretty much all done. Get this wedge out. We'll put this back like so. Turn that around. Put it there. And we'll connect these back up like that. Actually, these emerged with that. So we need to fix that up a bit. So we'll go like boom. And they are all good. Okay, that is looking very good. Um, and we have the back here as well. That's the front. We have the back, don't we? Uh, we can put another little wedge in there. Uh, we'll go like that. Perfect. And that is all we can really do. So let's paint the rest of that. It makes the wing look very thin now, though, in that spot, doesn't it? Oh, that's not very good. <laughs> Um, I wonder if we should continue this hump and make it come down a bit more. We might do that. We'll paint that grey. That's all grey. Everything's all good. Everything painted. Should be. Oh, there's a little piece just there. Um, right. Now, with this bit, let's change this a little bit. Let's bring that back. <laughs> let's come back to about here, maybe. That might be best. Uh, we'll go like this. Just so the wing looks like it's got some thickness to it. So, it actually looks strong. We'll put some wedges on here. Turn that around like that. Perfect. And we'll get some more wedges. Turn that around and drag it down here. We'll also do the same on this side of some little ones like that. Okay. It makes it look a little bit better, hopefully. Um, now we're going to need some of these ones. Is that what we need? Some 1x4s. Yep. Turn that around. And then we need some 2x4s. And we'll place that right up there. Perfect. I think that looks a little bit better. I guess we'll make that decision later on. <laughs> uh, yeah, that looks fine. Alright guys, I also just changed the color of the float to orange. I think that looks a little bit better. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, the wings look a bit funny, I think. I'm not <laughs> I'm not too sure. Uh, we might leave it like that just for now. We can always change it later on. I'm not I just don't know. Um, yeah, let's see if this thing floats anyway. It should do. Let's save it all. Boom boom. And we'll spawn it in. Fingers crossed. Oh. Oh yeah. That's not too bad. Um, the floats do need to come down, obviously, but we haven't done that just yet. But it is sitting in the water, which is good. Um, let's go jump inside and see what it looks like. We do need ladders to get up the side too. We should probably do that. Yep. Yes, we made it. Very good. Uh, let's go jump inside and see what it looks like. Whoa, how much visibility we got? Shut that. Perfect. All right. Oh, yeah, this isn't too bad, actually. Got all our little gauge and stuff right in our faces, which is perfect. It's a very dark day, isn't it? Um, plenty of visibility. Absolutely heaps. That is really cool. Um, we'll have to get those floats working next episode as well. Yeah, it's leaning a little bit too much, <laughs> but that's all right. Um, that might do us for today, guys. I'm all out of time. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.